didn't get endorsed. <laughs> so you and Tom relate on many yeah, levels. I'm one of those. <laughs> should I tie my hair? Should I pleat it up? Pleat it or should I leave it down? This is my third outfit change because this is the third day of filming that I've been doing this, so it looks ridiculous to everyone watching. It's just gonna be Betty bullying me. People are gonna see at church that you bully me now. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm Ashley and I'm studying maths and philosophy. Hey, my name's Bernie and I study physics. My name's Kirsty Webb and I study medicine. I'm Amelia, my degree is biochemistry. I'm George Stavropoulos and I'm studying financial economics. <laughs> It's quite a, an interesting degree itself. A lot of people don't really see how they would go together. If you take logics, like that's a sort of more mathsy part of philosophy. But it's the subjects that I enjoyed at school. I did at RMPS, which is sort of like religious studies, and that sort of has an element of philosophy. So that was what I quite liked. And they actually do go together quite well. It's quite a nice break from like maths pretty full on. So a very common prob well, problem in physics is that there's no girls. But <laughs> in STEM <laughs> <laughs> that too. But in St. Andrews, there's quite an even divide actually. It's like quite intense because it's quite highly like ranked, but it's like good I think because it like makes you like, you know, reach the potential that you could do. I have the opportunity to get to have patient encounters and speak to real life patients about their medical history and get to know them and chat to them and I really enjoy that. So my modules this year are cell biology, molecular biology, research methods and I'm also doing a management module. If I go into that as a job, it, as a career, it's kind of at the forefront of like medical research and that type of thing, so I guess kind of important. I think that it encompasses more than just an econ degree which is very theoretical. I think it incorporates the math side of things and the programming side of things, so we have to do a lot of statistics because we have to take econometrics on top of finance courses and econ courses. <laughs> Because it wasn't best for my <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Literally no. everyone said that. <laughs> But then also I went to the open day and like I really liked it. I made like friends, but then I've never seen them again. What? But I really made like like people I really got along with. I knew there was a good church here as well. Okay. So I was like, oh, I wouldn't like spend all my time there. My two top choices were Duke and St. Andrews. Duke has the number one economic school in the US. St. Andrews had it in Scotland and the UK really. I love the people here when I came to visit. I met my friend from high school who goes here. I met all his friends and they were really nice people. So I said, why not? Yeah, to be honest, I was very between Glasgow Uni and St Andrews. And I did take quite a long time deciding because I'm from Edinburgh and I thought St Andrews might be quite a small city and compared to like what I'm used to. But it's actually been really good. I picked it obviously because it's such a like well thought of university, acclaimed if you will. And then I came to see it and it just does have such good like facilities and it's quite a nice change and um, living in such a like small place and everyone sort of knows everyone and it's, it's quite nice. As you know, I love swimming in the sea and I love going and doing outdoorsy things. So that was a big reason why I wanted to go to St Andrews. My parents actually went here and they had an amazing time and I used to come here in my summers. <laughs> hear about stories of St Andrews but you don't really understand what it's like until you go there. I think what's made it for me is like all the traditions at St Andrews and because it's so quite small you can just like go around and see people all the time. I heard about it being a bubble that can obviously have negative connotations but I think it's actually a really nice thing because it's a chance to just be in close proximity to all your friends and see them all the time and get to do random fun things spontaneously. So I was like okay so first year will be easy but it's not. I think you're like you're meant to work quite hard which is good because like now I'm learning to do that and I think that's been really good for me just like studying my subject makes you like look at the world differently this sounds so nerdy but like even going to a playground or something I don't normally go to playgrounds but like even just thinking about playgrounds it's like you like want to analyze like oh that's a projectile motion and stuff and it's really messed up but you just do it it's like it's just changing the way you see things I think I've gotten tougher skin. Socially speaking, I'm much more skeptical of people. You know, in high school, I went to school 30 kids in a tiny, tiny school in Manhattan. Studies wise, I would say just being on top of your work more so than I ever was. Because, you know, in the US, we have continuous assessments here. It's 
to a semester. Everything's weighted differently. Exactly. As well. When I came here to start with, I wasn't sure I was gonna like it just because of yeah the city and like not knowing anyone here. Obviously, that was like a big one. But I actually do really enjoy it. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I guess because also I feel like at school you're a lot more guided in like what you're supposed to be doing. Like oh, make sure you've done this and like got this sorted. Whereas like you are a lot more independent. A bit more chill than I thought it would be, especially this year living in a flat. Last year it was in halls. It was kind of similar to school especially because like I was catered in ABH as you know but I think it's really nice just being in a flat with friends no <laughs> actually I picked some up that I, I got rid of at the end of high school because of work getting back to my photography shout out to Vivid um, it's our new photography platform at St. Andrews it's just given me so many opportunities to do what I love like I'm really into fashion we have such a great fashion footprint here in terms of don't walk fs sitara vs oh my god a ton so i've not changed my degree i'm still doing maths and philosophy but i was always not really sure like i feel like a lot of people sort of go into uni knowing exactly what they want to do especially like degrees like law or medicine or something that i have a lot of friends doing you sort of go into your degree knowing what job you're going to do whereas i didn't have that so i was sort of like oh i don't know what i should take a lot of people do business just sort of like oh that'll be useful i just took subjects that i'd like i didn't expect myself to be going and swimming in the sea or doing those kind of things when i came here i expected to play sport, play a musical instrument and just knuckle down and work but I met a group of people that really enjoy cliff jumping and going on runs and things like that and I found myself really enjoying doing that kind of stuff. So. It's so incredibly cold though. I cannot for the life of Do you know what understand. though? Okay so you get in and it's freezing and you're in pain and it's miserable but then after like a good 10-15 minutes it stops and it actually feels warm. Now I don't think that's a good thing. But I usually come out like fully blue and I have to spend like a good like hour in a hot shower. Sunrise wins. I haven't changed my degree at all but I didn't expect to be doing the management module this year and like while I don't think I'm gonna continue with that it has been really interesting. I really like the module. I used to think I hated mechanics. Okay. Do you know what mechanics is? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's so offensive. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. It changes every week, it's actually going to be on. Lectures will be a different time every day. Every other week I'll have placement, clinical skills, dissection. That's a fun one. It's different from all of us in that it's only three years. It's nice because you have three years in a small town and then you have three years in a big city. This is like my uni experience separated from my clinical years. And because I'm at St Andrews, I have an extra year of doing like non-clinical stuff. So I just get an extra year of having a proper student experience. We have a dissertation in our last semester. And I think at the end of the six years, you have a big exam. I think I take many more classes third, years on, third year honors and I don't have to write a dissertation. I have to just take modules in the exam. Mine's heavily weighted on flexibility in terms of internships. So for instance, I'm applying to spring weeks now. If they don't align with our course, they essentially will give me two weeks off of school for the School of Economics so I can just study. And I think we get like more theoretical and practical no knowledge than anything else. So everything I studied last year in finance is really coming in play now. And you can see the actual practical application whenever you open up the New York Times, the FT, the, the Post. And you just see like, oh my God, that's what I learned last year. And we watched movies, we watched videos. We kept referencing the big shooters, what to do in that situation or like how he played it and why he did it like that. Like in STEM subjects, so including physics, you have the choice to do direct entry, which I mean, I didn't do that. Direct entry just means you skip over first year and then go straight into second year, which for a lot of people from England tend to do it. Just yeah. because like, it saves a lot of money. And, and isn't like first year kind of a repeat of A-levels in a way? It, is but you also like I learned so much stuff so okay. like I would recommend doing first year like this is what my mom recommended as well because I know getting accustomed to like taking care of yourself like sleeping eating exercising mm -hmm. seems like stuff like oh yeah everyone knows how to do that I didn't then I go if you do direct entry great like wow you're amazing you're so smart but like yeah be prepared to come to uni work study and yeah. take care of yourself if you get 
15s or above, which is 65% roughly in second year, preferably, but also like in third year, is that the most important one? Then you can choose to do an integrated master's, which would mean that you stay here for five years if you start from first year or four years if you start from second year. Math modules have like tutorials and things, but you have to hand in work for every week as well. Okay, so physics is, so each week you'll have a two and a half hour lab, which sounds like a lot, but actually it's more than that because you go there, you need to write this lab book which is super long <laughs> yeah and horrible but like actually you get used to it and like it's really nice and you learn a lot from it but basically you need to record all your work and do like all these uncertainties and stuff in first year you have tutorials before the lab in second year you have tutorials randomly in the week like you just have one and then you have a workshop as well but a tutorial you like you have to submit your work for it so you do tutorial questions so i've got three years here and then it's a year in industry somewhere um i have no idea where that'll be yet and then i come back for fifth year to finish off the masters. The idea is that with the fourth year as a year in industry, if they like you, the company that you go to work for, it kind of helps you with getting jobs after you graduate. At the moment I have like between one and two labs a week. Those are three hours from like two to five in the afternoon. I have nine AMs every day. One of my modules, the research methods module, doesn't have an exam and that's got like two lectures a week, but those are really chill because it's all coursework. So it's just kind of tips for the coursework. And then I also have a tutorial once a week for management, four lectures a week for that. <laughs> Questions are very intense. <laughs> Not the subjects themselves, but just coming to uni, learning how to live by yourself probably has been more impactful than like maths itself. By meeting patients with certain diseases and medical issues, I have really been moved by how they deal with them and live with that and because some of them are very disabling or debilitating and they don't let it impact their quality of life. They look to do other things. If they're unable to walk or run then they'll learn how to do a skill with their hands fall in love with a new hobby and they don't let it get them down or get the best of them and that's just really taught me a lot about kind of picking yourself up when things don't go your way in life. It's been really good for me because I've learned a lot more that like okay I need to get into a schedule, I need to work, I want to get up early in the morning, if I get up early in the morning like yes that's a great start. You need to have a good balance between well studying, like social life, which I still really want to have. <laughs> A lot of people obviously think if you take maths, like you're just gonna go into teaching. That's quite like, and I did do tutoring before I came to uni. Like that was in my job. So I do get why I could go into that, but at the same time, don't really know if I would want to be a teacher. The maths opens a lot of doors in terms of things like accountancy. If you wanted to go into something like business or economics, I feel like maths gives you sort of the ability to do that without sort of necessarily taking it as a subject. I mean, I've taken um, economics modules as well, along with maths. It was not really Really what I was expecting to be fair. I've never done business or economics or anything at school so I thought I'd take it and sort of see what that was after uni just like start up in a company and work my way up type thing. I have no idea what I want to do like obviously like a biochemistry degree that's an option and I wouldn't be opposed to going into something like pharmaceuticals but I also have no idea at this stage it could be something completely unrelated. My plan has always been to get into finance and then get into politics. I always wanted to start my own business and I'm really taking strides in that now to start my business here at university and I'll try to get into opening up more businesses as I, as I go on. Probably get into finance at some point. I'd love to be like a doctor on a helicopter doing like mountain rescue. I think that would be really fun. I want to do something outdoorsy or emergency medicine. I think that would be fun. I think I need to do something that like I would be working under like high pressure, quite a demanding job, but like there'd be like a good adrenaline rush. I think I'm that's... the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so, I'm like life needs to be calm. Everything needs to be chill. I need like the chaos because I want to walk, like walk into work and think I have no idea what's coming my way or like pediatrics because like kids are just I don't actually want to go into physics. I want to work for like the church or like do some sort of mission. Why am I doing physics, you might ask? Great question. But like, I really enjoy it. I think there's a lot of people who want to go into like research. I really want to go to Kenya. I never expected to be like the kind of Africa girl or whatever. But like, <laughs> I just really, really want to go back basically. I thought to feed a giraffe though, but it was really weird. And then people were like kissing the giraffe. I was like, no. Okay, and this video has ended weirdly. <laughs> People kissing giraffes, that is the end of the video. <laughs>